pulse, no respirations, no, no nothing. Exactly. He was he was gone, and uh, it took us about five minutes of you saved CPR. His life. Yeah, it's awesome. It's just it's awesome really to awesome. see that he's alive and he he can't be. Yeah, yeah. he's really. Yeah. I thought he was going to be on monitors and everything. Yeah, I know. And like when he came home, we were thinking, oh, he's not going to be the same dog because he's acting kind of funny. Uh -huh. But within a couple of days, he just perked right up. You're such a good guy. Do you remember what happened to you? He says, no, I was in lava, I know. man. <laughs> yes, you yes, were. It's amazing that the CPR works. It's just amazing. I mean, I took out my certificate and thought, I'm never going to have to use this. And just unbelievable. Um, Benny was at our shop for the day to be groomed. And he had gone back for his bath as usual and was waiting to be dried. And one of the boys in back picked him up and put him on the table to dry him. And at that point, he collapsed, um, and he called out for help immediately. And our go-to person is Lori Kay, and um, she went back there immediately and started uh, CPR on Benny. And when she realized she needed extra help, she called for me. So the two of us worked on Benny. He started breathing a couple of times, and he was like almost choking, like he was drowning. And then he would. Go, he would collapse again and then we started again yeah. so it was about three times um, that we stopped and restarted because when they start breathing on their own you don't want to keep doing the CPR so we'd stop and then he'd cough and then he'd go back down again. You know, I would just suggest if anybody is around a dog that collapses and you can tell that they're not breathing by listening at their nose, feeling at their chest, um, their pulse is in their groin but even just by looking at them, if you think they're not breathing, to start the two breaths over the nose and the mouth and the 15 compressions. They're gonna be a lot less deep if the dog is smaller, of course. With a bigger dog, you would use your whole hand, but with a smaller dog, you'd go down to almost two fingers. The doctor um, started to take a look at them, and then mom arrived, and um, she basically came out and told us that, like according to his blood work, he did have a, an arrhythmia and um, that a lot of dogs, um, you know, it's basically like their heart stops. I mean, it, it, it pulsates um, and then it stops. So she said if we had not started the CPR within 20 seconds, I'm going to cry. <laughs> we wouldn't have got him back. <laughs> But we were all tough when it was happening. It's just, um, it's, it's amazing. He's a miracle.